My freshman year, I actually went to the University of Michigan. Um, my whole plan was to go play soccer up there and study computer engineering. Um, and when I got up there, I found out that wasn't my thing. Soccer wasn't working out. And being from Texas my whole life, it was a little cold for me. So I wanted to come closer to home, be with my family. Um, and I was looking at choices and my club teammates, uh, Mikey Olivares and Andres, um, were both looking at colleges as well. And at some point we all thought, let's just stay near home. And we knew we'd played Southwestern before. Um, we'd seen them play a couple times here and there. Um, we liked how it was close to the vicinity uh, around all of our families. And so we were like, let's just go there and see if we can make an impact on the program together. Uh, being named it my sophomore year was the biggest surprise. Uh, I, it wasn't something I was expecting. Um, and being, having older upperclassmen above me that I still have to, in a way, lead and command and gaining their respect helped me grow as a soccer player a lot faster. Um, and having that maturity to be able to command that um, has been something I've had to learn um, throughout the years. Definitely my, the way I've captained the team uh, has changed uh, coming from a, almost a, a bystander watching from the side as a captain and just kind of playing my game, lead by example to a more uh, motivational, trying to inspire the guys uh, now in my senior year, um, recognizing how much I've grown has really changed. Uh, I just, I just like the, the players and the community that it's kind of, it's almost, a, it's a southwestern thing. Everyone just, it's such a small school that most people tend to be very close to each other. Um, you get to know everyone really well, um, and I think that alone builds the chemistry a lot uh, quicker than a lot of other programs because you see each other so much and you're around each other so much um, that you get to grow these bonds that you might not see at bigger programs where people come in, they graduate, they leave, and that's it. Um, here we still see a lot of the players, we talk with a lot of the alumni, um, and just the team chemistry in general just is sparked up like that from the start. Oh, it's, it's, been, um, it's been amazing. Um, we've had, I've had a lot of remarks from the people who are my mentors as a student teacher who told me I come a lot more prepared than a lot of other people they've had before. Um, and I think that all comes back to the people in my education department. The coursework can seem very strenuous at times. Um, a lot of papers can be written, a lot of reflections um, that you don't think really matter um, up until you get into the field and you actually do have to reflect a lot upon what you're doing um, because one of the biggest things about coaching is looking at what you've done and seeing how you can improve it the next time for the next class or the next day. I am ready to leave. I am ready to get out because I think it's my time to go. But I see all of these people every day around, either when I'm eating, I'm walking around, just all the time, 24-7, they're around me. And having to leave that aspect of my life, uh, it's going to be, that's going to be the most challenging part. Um, being in touch over the phone is definitely isn't the same as actually being able to see them in person. Um, so I'm definitely relishing every moment I get before I graduate in December.